Welcome to Harmony Public Schools, and my name is Gonzalo. And my project has to do with frequency. The experiment you see before me right now is used to demonstrate it, just that, frequency. This string is just ordinary string, simple chord. And this machine will simply vibrate it at certain times per second. Let's say 100 times per second. That 100 times per second will be the frequency of the string. This is composed of four very strong strobe lights each one in a different position to highlight all of the string and they will flash in different intervals on time for example 100 times per second 200 times per second that will be the frequency of the lights to show that let's start off with just 10 times per second that's how it looks you lower it to 5 then to 2 then to 1 and it doesn't even register that's 10 now this will begin at let's say 1 Work our way up. There. It's vibrating 70 times per second. Now we'll match the strobe lights. We'll make it flash it set at 57 times per second. Right there, the frequencies are perfect. Now we just turn it on. And it will look as though there's only one string. Like that now turn it on one string we mismatch the frequency is just slightly and you begin to see it dance more and more so until finally you can double the frequency and you'll get two now what you're seeing on your screen right now is not some defect on your monitor it's actually the strobe lights interfering with what the camera perceives. Now that is essentially the action part of my video and as you increase the frequency if you have it set at a ratio of 1 to 1 you will see one string. 2 to 1 you'll see two strings. 3 to 1 you'll see three. Now, let's say you're in a dark room with me, and I'm standing in front of you with an outstretched arm, the light's on, and then the light turns off, and I start moving my arm, and it turns back on when my arm is outstretched. What would you see if every time I outstretch my arm, the light blinks? You can only see me when the light is on, so you would only see me with my arm outstretched. So even though I'm moving my arm, you would only see me in a constant position. Now, this also happened in the past, in one incident called the Tacoma Bridge. The Tacoma Bridge was in the United States Bridge, and essentially what happened was it had a natural frequency. Um, let's say so many cycles per second, so many vibrations per second at the string. Now, the wind that was hitting the bridge at that time matched its natural frequency and made it to begin vibrating furiously. Now, while it began vibrating, the bridge began to lose stability, teeter-tot all over. And once it finally reached the perfect frequency, and for the prolonged period of time, it began vibrating incredibly and collapsed. This can also be viewed in one of the lectures in engineering.com, which highlights the incident and the many cases that it involved. Thank you for watching.